welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, I am not done entirely experimenting with this Linux Mint Debian edition. I just figured I'd go ahead and do a whole lot more things. Of course, um, uh, somebody had asked me, uh, Quint actually asked me to put uh, GNOME on this to see how that would work. And that appealed to me because although I classically have not liked the GNOME desktop, I did actually watch a very fascinating video um, from somebody about how to properly use the desktop. And so I wanted to do first a quick shout out to this video here at AJ Rising to this GNOME Shell Tutorial Desktop Workflow Explained. This is a very fascinating video which really shows all of the pros and cons, how to use the desktop effectively and things like that. And that was certainly an interesting uh, take for me because what I wanted to do, what I was interested in doing is I watched that video and I said, well, what happens if I would go back through and relearn how to use a desktop using something like GNOME to see is this still a horrible desktop experience or is this something that, you know, wow, it could really replace my current workflow. Because as you guys know, um, I've experimented with all the different major desktop environments. Of course, I haven't done the window managers, i3, things like that that's going to take uh, a lot of time and reading documentation. I don't have time for that at this point in time. Uh, but Budgie and Deepin and Gnome and KDE and Cinnamon and XFCE and Mate and, you know, the other primary desktop environments, I have taken the time to go through and learn how to use those, always looking at what makes the best workflow? What makes the best environment? And also understanding that I use computers for different things. I have computers dedicated to web design and development. I have computers dedicated to writing. I have computers dedicated to video editing and production. And I have uh, graphic designs. And of course, this PC that we're looking at here is my media PC. And I can say that uh, I still think I like Budgie the best for this particular setup, either KDE or Budgie, probably KDE for the look and appearance. But one of the things that I found is that KDE on top of Debian does not seem to work that well. KDE uh, on top of Linux Mint works beautifully. I haven't really tested it with everything else. The biggest problem I have on um, Debian with KDE is anytime I want to launch Kodi, it has a very hard time coming out of the desktop. Um, I admittedly have not been using Kodi as much on this computer for the last week, uh, but it is definitely something that um, I can easily do. So of course on Kodi when you um, when you load it up, the backslash will toggle a effectively a desktop environment mode and a windowed version of it. And I have not actually encountered any issues with this in any way, shape, or form. Now, the other thing that I've been doing differently on GNOME is I have been changing my workflow a little bit, um, in which case I've been using my meta keys more. Um, and uh, taking advantage of the keyboard, if you know how to use the GNOME desktop with the keyboard, I can say that it does work a lot better. You can work infinitely faster on this if you learn how to use the keyboard shortcuts. So of course, meta, page up, page down, will go in between different workspaces. Now, I generally have not and classically don't use workspaces. Okay, and that's kind of part of my GNOME experience. Why I really haven't liked it is because I don't really use those. But what I've been experimenting with on in the last couple of days is utilizing the workspaces properly. So when I boot this guy up, of course you can cycle uh, here with page up, page down. What I've been doing is I've been putting my main primary YouTube window on the first workspace. My Firefox, which is my primary search and whatever else window, um, usually I'm having my emails here for privacy. I've taken my emails out and I just threw a file uh, manager there with Nautilus. I have my Skype down here and then um, I have uh, just accessory windows down here. Of course, it always adds one blank one for if you want to throw something down there on the bottom. So 
of course, I've been utilizing, of course, workspaces, which is a radically different approach than I have been doing in the past. And so learning how to use the keyboards and the meta keys, of course, if I want to put this window here on any other desktop, I hold my meta and shift page up, page down, and that actually moves this to whichever one of those. Now, since there's really nothing left on that third one, that uh, third one, or fourth one down rather, uh, no, it was the second one. It was the second one or the third one. You'll see that that kind of moved because there's um, nothing left on it. If there's nothing left on it in the middle, it just kind of collapses that down. So utilizing the desktop environments um, in this manner with the keyboard starts to really make a lot of sense. And when you get used to it, it works pretty well. Of course, um, you can do your um, Alt and A to get to this screen here. Any of these screens that has a type to search, you don't need to put your mouse up there at all. Um, so it works out very nicely. I'll let you uh, watch uh, AJ's video for more details about how to use the desktop. Of course, some of the modifications I did, I added the uh, weather extension here so I can see at a glance what is the weather. You know, it's misty and 32 here. Um, I can see the date, the time. Now, the other thing that I did is I didn't, I don't care for docks often, but I do like launchers and things on my panel. So what I did is I used this extension which is called uh, dash to panel instead of dash to dock being the more popular one dash to panel will give you kind of the panel layout and the reason I did this is I found myself always kind of uh, launching into my uh, my uh, organizer here to view my dock to access the most common applications on this computer of course are chromium Firefox files evolution Thunderbird Kodi and Skype and those are the most common things I'm frequently loading. So now I have the ability to just quickly launch those without having the extra key of going into my organizer to move them. And then I'm just moving them around. So it's working very well. So what are the downsides to this, in my opinion, that I'm seeing it? Well, the first is keyboard layouts. I'm looking at all the different keyboards. Of course, you guys know I have a lot of computers. Um, on laptops, for example, these page up, page down keys, it's like page up, page down, uh, home end keys. These are not keys that non-power users necessarily use on a regular basis and for a while you can get used to them. I have for example my one keyboard on my primary work computer their page up page down keys are at the top above the number pad. Um, on the laptops I don't even remember where they are. I think you actually have to hit function keys to hit them. I, I just don't know where they are on my laptops. Um, so for a traditional keyboard layout, GNOME makes a lot of sense. For a weird keyboard layout, and keyboards are becoming weirder and weirder, it starts to make a little bit less sense. The other thing that I found is in working back and forth, so like this works perfectly well for this system where I'm just kind of bouncing back and forth between uh, different windows and things like that, and, and it works very well. It, it does. But in a work environment, I could actually see this being more of a pain and a problematic thing. Because if you don't use the keyboards, if you're only using your mouse shortcuts, then it actually means that uh, to get your functional work done where you need to use your mouse, now you're jumping back and forth between the keyboard a lot more, the keyboard and the mouse. And that decreases efficiency. And this is why I like the cinnamon setup so well, is because everything is easily accessible with the mouse without having to jump back and forth between the keyboard. And so if you're doing something that does not require a lot of dedicated pointing in specific spots and clicking like I do when I'm doing web design development, I got to spot that piece of code, click it with the mouse and start typing. In GNOME, what I have to do is I have to jump back and forth now a whole lot more between the keyboard and the mouse. So am I gonna be using this on a regular basis? Is this replacing uh, Cinnamon and other things? No, I could, this is still a nightmare uh, experience um, on a main production type environment where I am have multiple instances of Firefox and each instance of Firefox has multiple tabs. This is a nightmare scenario for that environment workflow, which I use very rapidly on Cinnamon. But for more of a, a workflow that requires less mouse usage and things like that, it does make a lot of sense. I can say that I have a lot greater appreciation of GNOME after taking the time to learn the keyboard shortcuts 
and understanding what its flow and what its purpose is. It does make a lot of sense. It just still, for me at least, is not a good workflow as far as my regular day job goes. As far as a media PC bouncing back and forth between a variety of different things, it actually works out pretty well. And I can honestly say, yeah, I do like it a lot more. I have a lot more respect for GNOME after running this test with it. Um, but is it something that I'm just absolutely in love with? No, I still stick by. It's, it is in many ways more of a pain. Um, but at least now I, I know how to use it a lot better. I have a much greater appreciation for, um, for what it is, how it works, and how it functions. And with that being said, I just kind of wanted to wrap up this just brief discussion here. I think next, uh, I'll, I mean, I don't, I'm not really jumping to get this off my system. Um, so I'm not really going to, um, going to do that right away. But uh, another thing somebody asked me to do is see if I can get testing, Debian testing on top of this. Um, other people have said it's an issue, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. So um, maybe we'll do another one. Again, this is Linux Mint uh, Debian Edition. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition. And of course I have Cinnamon, I have KDE, and I have GNOME installed on this guy now. And so um, this has just kind of been a neat testing ground. It was a fabulous learning experience. I do appreciate the GNOME desktop a lot more than I have in the past, but still, I still just don't think it's a, a super amazing environment all across the board. So thanks for coming along on this video, and I hope that you enjoy your Sunday off and also switch to Linux. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here, and you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.